Tonight's special segment, Early Warning. Chicago doctors are developing a device that could change the lives of patients who suffer from seizures. Healthy reporter Sylvia Perez joining us tonight with a look at the way it works. Kathy and Ron, talk to anyone who suffers from epileptic seizures, and they'll probably tell you the worst part is not knowing when one is going to hit. But Chicago researchers say they are on the verge of developing an alarm that could transmit a warning before a seizure strikes. Felix, and this one's fluffy. Jackie Trejo is like so many other eight-year-olds. She loves stuffed animals, donuts, and coloring. But this outgoing little girl is quick to point out what makes her different. Please don't forget of my twitches. Without much warning, her right arm starts twitching. This movement you are seeing that looks like a strange muscle spasm is caused by an electrical malfunction in Jackie's brain. This twitching is actually a seizure. There was no timing of when it was going to come. Judith Trejo says medications have not been all that helpful, and just recently Jackie had a peanut-sized portion of her brain removed in hopes of stopping the seizures. But so far, they keep coming. Most of the time, they only affect her right arm, lasting around 30 seconds. But the longer they go, the greater the danger. Once they go over two minutes, she starts losing oxygen, and she just kind of starts blanking out no oxygen in her and she just stops breathing. Judith says the disorder is overwhelming at times. Jackie has to be constantly watched because they never know when a seizure will hit. We've had about more than 20 um, emergency visits. This device could be the answer for hundreds of thousands of families like the Trejos. Researchers at the University of Chicago Medical Center are testing out this portable unit designed to detect the abnormal brain activity that happens before a seizure. In a way, you could compare it with detecting uh, an explosion or detecting an earthquake. Neuroscientist Vim Drongelen says this is basically a compact EEG machine like this one, which monitors brain activity. When the signs of electrical trouble are picked up, the machine would transmit a warning to a receiver. The patient could then take steps to sit down or tell someone. But Van Drongelen says there's one huge catch. They have the technology, but still haven't figured out the most reliable warning sign. Finding an algorithm that would detect for a particular person uh, when the seizure is uh, about to start, that's really the key part. They're recording hundreds of patients' brainwave patterns, creating a database in hopes of finding the precursor to seizures. In the lab, electrical activity of brain tissue is also being analyzed. The research is tedious and expensive, but experts say it is desperately needed. We're looking at uh, you know, approximately 3 million people across the United States with epilepsy. Uh, somewhere close to a million people would, be, would benefit from this device. Judith Trejo says a device like this could take a lot of pressure off her family, allowing them to enjoy the simple pleasures of life that many take for granted. The right arm is bothering me. Now, the University of Chicago is also working with Argonne National Laboratory to develop the algorithms or codes that are needed to make this monitoring system successful. Several other research centers around the world are also working on similar devices, but it could be years before any of these devices are ready. Hope for the future. Mm -hmm. Okay, Sylvia, thanks. Mm -hmm.